What's going on guys, Money Webby here, hope you guys had a great night of MLB DFS last night, I did very well last night, this is the lineup I tweeted out and gave out on my Twitter and the Facebook group, so if you're not following me there or in the Facebook group, you're not doing it right, got 120 drafting points on like a 4 game slate, that Atlanta um, Mets game got postponed because it was delayed, mid game and they just canceled it so no one even got points in that game it helped me because i pretty much faded that game besides the catcher on the braves but yeah i went from garcia Jaime garcia to andrese that was a great move because garcia what the weather concerns and stuff like that and then i started to look more into it i liked andrese better the spot he was in against the marlins just in a pitcher's park it seemed like things were working out better for Andrese Garcia could have been they said that it was going to be delayed mid-game so I was worried about that of Garcia getting pulled after the third delay then it ended up getting postponed so I'm glad I went with Andrese I didn't have Garcia in any of my lineups and this is the lineup I gave out we had 30 from Andrese a great performance from him Miranda with 20 and the big one was Machado for me, Adam, and all of my lineups. He got 26 drafting points. And the Mariners stack also worked out with Segura getting 16. Nelson Cruz getting 12. So, yeah, it was a great showing all around. So, leave a like down below if you guys used this lineup and won some money. I hope the guys, the plays that I gave out yesterday worked out for you. Trumbo got like two hits. A little bit disappointing with Chris Davis and Mookie. I was expecting more out of them. But we'll move on to today. We have a much bigger slate. So a lot more options. And the pitchers are lights out in the slate. So we have a lot of pitchers to pick from. So definitely go and leave a like down below if you're excited and ready to win some money for the Money Mob. And subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already to get these videos daily. My favorite two pitchers, my favorite teams, the stack, and my favorite three hitters. So let's get into it for today. It is Friday, the first day of the weekend. I'm feeling good about it. My first ace of the day is going to be Chris Archer for 9,600 against the Blue Jays. I love Archer in this spot against a bad Blue Jays lineup. They've been horrendous this year. Archer got him for 24 drafting points the last time he played him at home. Archer is a much better pitcher at home. I don't blame him. The Tampa Bay park is definitely a pitcher's park so archer feels comfortable there he can strike out a lot of batters as well against this toronto lineup he has a big sample size against them 218 at bats so he definitely knows what he's dealing with their batting average against them is 216 and the k rate he has is 26 so both very good numbers against this Toronto lineup. I feel very good about it. Toronto's only expected three and a half runs. And Tampa Bay is also favorites in this game. So I think Archer can get the win. He'll strike out probably like seven plus batters against a shitty Toronto lineup. And he's going to limit their run total. I see 20 plus drafting points definitely is in the cards for Archer. He, get up to, he could get up to 30 in this game within reason. So you got to lock him in. My second ace of the day is going to be Danny Salazar for 10,000 against the Royals. Another lineup that is heavily struggling. This Royals lineup can hit the broad side of a barn right now. They've been atrocious. So I think Salazar, a very good pitcher, can take advantage of them in this spot. Another heavy strikeout guy. His K rate against this Kansas City lineup is the same as Archer's was 26%. A high number the batting average against is 238. So he's done some damage against this Royals lineup. The Royals are only expected 3.44 runs. So not many runs at all. And the Indians are heavy favorites as well. I think Salazar will get the win. He's been very solid this year. Around 20 DraftKings points per game. Just because how many strikeouts he gets. He's not going to be giving up that many hits against the Royals as well. So I think he's as safe as they come. Salazar and Archer are both very safe options. I also love Steven Strasburg, but I think Strasburg's ownership is going to be higher. So I like Salazar and Archer as kind of lower owned guys. Salazar will be definitely lower owned than Strasburg, so you got to lock him in. 
My first bat of the day, the first installment of the triple play is going to be Brian Dozier for 4,400 against the Red Sox. Going against Eduardo Rodriguez. Rodriguez is off to a good start this year, but he's still allowing home runs at a very good rate. So I think Dozier can get one off him this year. He has tremendous power against lefty pitchers and he is also four for six with one home run against Rodriguez in his career so he's done it before and the air is supposed to be very thin tonight in Minnesota so Dozier can have an easier time of hitting one outside the park 14 mile an hour winds blowing to right center so if he wants to pull one or just take one deep at a center field Dozier can do it with a little bit more extra help from that wind so I love Dozier in this spot you gotta lock him in my next batter is gonna be Edwin and Carcione for it 4400 against the Royals he has a very good track record against Hamill similar to Dozier he is 7 for 18 in his career against them including three home runs we all know how good of a hitter Edwin is he can easily hit a home run every single night the area is supposed to be thin in Kansas City as well tonight so I think Edwin could easily get a home run he has the power to do it against these right-handed pitchers his ISO over the last two years is 265 a very high number he's off to a pretty slow start this year but I think he can turn it around tonight against a pitcher that he has seen before and done well against him Hamill allows a decent amount of home runs, and then Carcione can get one off him tonight, so you gotta lock him in. My third and final bat's gonna be Ben Gamel for 2700 against Yu Darvish and the Rangers. Since we paid up at pitcher and the last two plays at hitter, we kinda gotta go lower to find a nice value play, and Gamel has great opportunity at 2700 usually can find a second guy in the batting order for 2700 he's been murdering the ball this year since he got the opportunity when Hanniger went out three for three last night a double two RBIs he had 25 drafting points and 12 the game before going two for five with two doubles so he's had some great power with this he definitely is trying to take advantage of this opportunity with Hanniger out he wants to show he has the ability to get it done and he is in a great spot in the order the Mariners lineup is very powerful so if he could just get on base once in this game I think he can definitely get a run with Cano and Cruz behind him could easily knock him in Gamble, a great start to the year. I was watching the game last night. He actually looked pretty damn good. He had the long Jesus hair going. It looked like he's been like in the cave the past like year just working on his hitting. This guy looks like a beast at 2700 I love the price tag. And you Darvish, he's a great pitcher, but he's worse against left-handed batters. The batting average difference is around like .30, so a big discrepancy there. So I definitely like the lefties against you Darvish. Ben Gamble, he's a lefty, so you got to lock him in. So that's going to do it, guys. You have your five plays, Archer, Salazar, and Carcione, Dozier, and Ben Gamble. And for the stack, pack my favorite three lineups the stack in your lineups is going to be the cleveland indians the baltimore oreos and the boston red sox so try to target those guys in your lineups and also if you pay down a pitcher i'm not going to do so tonight but you can target the arizona diamondbacks in Colorado a great spot for them against a bad pitcher so the Diamondbacks if you pay down a pitcher so that is it guys if you guys want my full lineup again tonight you can go and follow me on Twitter at MoneyWebby as you see here and also I'm giving out three extra lineups per day for five dollars per day or twenty dollars for the week or fifty dollars for a full month of lineup so definitely take advantage of that and you can click on the link in the description below to get in the facebook group as well to ask some questions to form your lineup i'm still giving up the nba lineups every single night as well on my twitter so if you guys want those as well it's coming your way around an hour before lock i'm actually driving down to new york to check out some housing tonight so i'll be a little bit busy but you can still always make time for a dfs 
they're going to have to put up a sign eventually that says, like, don't DFS and drive because that's part of what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be tweeting out my line. I might have to pull over to tweet it out real quick, but we'll make it work, guys, because DFS can never rest. You got to make the money. I feel good about these plays, guys. A big slate, a ton of options. The research pays off in these big slates. So I wish you guys good luck tonight. I'm feeling good for the money mob and the slate. I think some money is coming our way. So definitely go and pound that like button. If you guys could do that for me, that would be great. The plays from yesterday has definitely helped you out. And if you guys use the lineup, you definitely got deep in the money yesterday. So leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already to get these videos daily. It's a really a good video to get your mind working. And it's like a quick 10-minute video to get some plays in your mind and some teams and some lineups to stack up and target. And the slate saves you guys some research because I'm doing it myself. So, yeah, guys, subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter. I wish you guys well in this spot. I'm feeling good about it. Good luck, Monday Mob. We'll see you tomorrow.